Tonight, Alaska's news source begins a significant conversation about homelessness. Our goal is to seek solutions. And I'll put that into context. An Anchorage Chamber survey says that two out of every three Anchorage businesses have had property damage because of the homeless crisis. One woman I met today who admitted throwing human waste at our building but says she was not worried about consequences, says homeless camping conditions are getting worse. A very strong warning. This story has video involving human feces, and it could be upsetting to watch. The trips to the front of Alaska's news source begin while the sun is still shining. Defeated, Nobody. very frustrated. I feel embarrassed now, but... But it doesn't take long for huge black bags full of human feces carted over in a Walmart grocery cart to be spread over almost every inch of the sidewalk. It's captured on video. Hey, Angela, I'm Rebecca Pulse with Alaska's News Source. Alaska's News Source is near Cuddy Park, which is a homeless camp. I asked this woman, Angela Butcher, if she was the one who tossed the waste to the building because she looked like the woman in the video. Did you, did you happen to do it? She told me she did it. And we saw Anchorage police drive past us while we talked. I guess it's like a protest in some ways, not the right way, probably. She says she's not worried about being arrested. She built her crate house here after escaping a domestic violence situation. And then I thought, that's really gross and smelly and probably not a good idea. And then, and then I tried to call and get a reporter, and they just said, well, I guess they can't ignore this. Yeah. We could not. According to the Anchorage Chamber of Commerce, 67% of businesses in the city have had property damage during the homeless crisis. That's out of 73% of the businesses that responded to her survey. Oh, we got another dumpster for the other side. That'd be great. The city says it requested bathrooms, dumpsters, and hand washing stations for the large homeless camps at 40th and Denali, as well as 3rd and Ingra and Davis. The number of facilities, the city says, at 3rd and Ingra has gone from four bathrooms to eight in the last week. The two here, Butcher says, are really gross, filled to the brim, and children have been using them. Why throw, like, feces at our door when we don't, didn't create the problem? Well, that's true, but you guys, it's really heavy, and you're the closest ones, and I just, I mean, who's going to tell the story? Nobody else will. And we are waiting to hear from the Anchorage Police Department about how to follow this and how they will follow this. In general, it says businesses are left to clean up the mess themselves and that, quote, an online report is sufficient. Parks and Rec says it would like to add more porta potties at the camps, but most of those, they say, are at the Alaska State Fair.